oxygen. It's what you need to be a person that breathes. Much like the gender you're attracted to, you can't live with it, you can't live without it, and you can't enjoy it 20 leagues under the sea unless you're merfolk. But what exactly happens when you take a big air in your lungs? Is it photosynthesis? Is it magic? Maybe it's two hamsters, one in each lung, inhaling the oxygen you just took in and exhaling it into to little body tubes to disperse it throughout your stringy body. I don't know. But what I do know is if you're a living creature and oxygen is zapped from you, prepare to grow some big ol' wings plus a butthole on your tummy, and the only thing that can stop you is a literal metaphor for a walking atom bomb. My name is James. I'm Nicole. And we're on the road to Jesus, baby. Oh my god. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh, guys, like I said, my name is James, and this is my co-host. Hi. It's Nicole, and Nicole, guess what? I have a new remix of a song. It's one of your favorite songs, but I think remixing it will make it even better. It's We're on the road to Meridian City. No, not that one. It's We're on the road to Meridian City. Every time I sing it, I forget the song that I'm supposed to be singing. It's a matchbox, baby, matchbox, matchbox 20, baby, matchbox, matchbox. So my pen fell off of me. So come on. Come on and join the Love Shack matchbox 20, baby. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, in case this is not just calling out one specific fan, I feel like maybe people might be getting the wrong idea. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nicole what? and I, uh, th this banter we have together, Nicole, yes, does get annoyed by some things I do, but we're good. We're, we're in a happy relationship. We've been in maybe five, six fights. One of them, my, uh, one of them, Nicole's fault. All the other ones, <laughs> my fault. Men are trash. I know. And we're together almost six years? Yeah. Wow. I think 2000, this year, we haven't gotten into, no, we got into a fight about, uh, no, that was last year when I, before I started taking Very much CBD don't feel oil. Like this is my business. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Nothing. Go on. Oh, it's going to be Upton Post. <laughs> but guys, uh oh, did you hear that voice? Did you hear that chuckle? Did you hear that mumble? You better believe it's my third best friend behind uh, my spouse and a cat. It's the wonderful, the marvelous, the co host of What the Hell Mouth, which is a podcast I do. TC. Hi. Oh, God. Guys, TC's a champ. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna come out and say that <laughs> a fucking champ for doing this and in the way in which they did it. But before we talk about, <laughs> but before we talk about the movie, I want to say to both of you, I'm going to do it individually. I will start with TC. Nicole, I apologize if if you're upset with this. What's up? Uh. Wow, I immediately forgot what I was going to okay, say. Okay, <laughs> cool. Yeah, it's like when you said Viridian City. Oh, uh, you know the, the secret fan? What secret fan? That was concerned. Oh, yeah. I think they're concerned just because we didn't say their name in the, in the recent episode. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, uh, Duo Grun Fox, you gotta... We love you. We love you still. Hey, you're, you're two Grun Foxes. It's a duo. It's like listening in stereo, but with Grun Foxes. Okay, it's duo. continue. TC. James. Uh, this is like an eye contact. All right. I'm proud of you. Oh, Everything you. that you have done since we have met... From oh, being really deep. being the maybe <laughs> twenty year old, that I'm proud of you. You're going through transitions, literally and figuratively, and I'm glad that you're my friend. Thank you. Uh, I wish that I had something nice to say to you. I'm not even saying that. It's today. fine. Uh, James, 
I I don't I'm not asking for this back. Please be quiet. Oh <laughs> Mum's the word. And you're still talking. Bye bye. This is why you did second grade. <laughs> <laughs> James, I am really proud of you because when I met you, you were sitting at your computer and you were the color of your pants. And you just looked really anxious and he's wearing red you pants. and I were both stuck at a job that we really hated. And now uh, you and I differ in this area where you have like. That's getting bleeped out. You and I are in different places financially. So <laughs> um, I'm proud of the way that you have been able to do something that you enjoy. Like and you're just doing what you like to do with life. And I'm really proud that I have a friend that is able to do that. And not to mention you're what every millennial wants to be. Uh, doing what they want to do, white, a <laughs> cis man. <laughs> God. But I brought you, and I'm, I'm, you brought yourself along for the ride, and I'm glad you're here. I took a, a brief nap, but yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I meant on a this journey. A literal brief nap. Uh, on this very journey literally. with me. Yes. On this existential journey. Nicole. Yeah. From the day we met, I, I'm going to be honest, I thought you were someone who had their shit together. Uh, but that's not okay, to say wow. that. Whoa, what the fuck? You. I mean, I thought you. Hey, I, this is for you, duo gun grunt back. <laughs> <laughs> My God, Nicole, put your Fur, fist down. Furks. Uh, hey, James, fuck you. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. You want me to beat his ass right now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. I'm about to oh, beat no. your ass. Put I need the muscles a, a away. marker so I can write Look at this. James on your arm. Hell yeah. Oh, no. I'm going to get your name tattooed yeah. on my arm so you know these guns are for you. <laughs> I'll fucking pay for it. <laughs> and then, like, the stronger I get, like, the tattoos will stretch out. And it'll be like, yeah. Jamas. <laughs> <laughs> or it's just uh, what you want to do to me. My, James is ripping apart because the ink will start, you know, ripping. No, I get it. Oh, my. Go it's, on. It's insane that we have Continue. a podcast that people enjoy. Why don't you think I'm funny? Uh, Me? Yeah. You're hilarious. Yes. Oh, I for real sometimes think you don't find me funny. How funny would our podcast be if it wasn't half of the time? <laughs> <laughs> half well, the because time we have he... beautiful moments like that where I say, please get healthier. Not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> But Nicole, let me rephrase that. Oh, hi. I thought you were more mature than I was. Wow. But I, yeah, it's not better. You are off That's to like worse. that should be the first sentence you say. That's worse. Like, at first I thought you had your shit together. Then I just thought you were mature. Then I, I was just wrong you about were both. Fucking but stupid. <laughs> Jesus. I thought stupider than a goddamn box of rocks. <laughs> with Google eyes pasted <laughs> on them. <laughs> Grunt and Fox, we're in love. <laughs> Nicole and I. Uh, you don't fuck around in the cold gonna lead a podcast <laughs> <laughs> oh man it was the best of times it was the worst of times nicole i am yes you're gonna give me another insult i am I'm proud ready. to see you turn I'm ready for it stop yeah you're peeking bro Cause you told me to uh, think closer. To no, to scream into the yeah. mic. You said oh you're too Gord. fucking quiet. Scream into that goddamn <laughs> mic, you bitch. <laughs> Grun Fox, I did say that. I didn't say that, Grun Fox. Okay. You cuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know a relationship is working. The lady calls the man the a cuck. The more you insult them, oh, the I more thought. in love they are. Nicole, call him a little bean head ass. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm helping. <laughs> I feel like a counselor. Okay. <laughs> I am glad to see Lucky you turn from this life. caterpillar of someone. The squishy. Yeah, of someone. Your singing is so distracting. <laughs> oh, I thought I was doing like a sweet background thing. Oh, oh cut okay, it you out go on. post. Lucky oh no life. keep oh my god <laughs> uh, Lucky I'm, I'm never gonna get through this i am very I'll just proud be stuck with the oh insults and that's it <laughs> 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 he just cuts everything out. And it's like, you see, I'm really proud of you, Nicole. I think you're dumb as hell. All right, guys, Godzilla. No, it's I thought you were dumb as hell. That's the first thing he says. I realized I thought you, you were, were much more mature. Let's get into Godzilla. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna have to just take my headphones off, plug my ears, and just plow through it. Lucky to happen. 
<laughs> I am proud to see from the caterpillar you were in your creative state to now My where you're at flourishing. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> You a caterpillar, baby. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> I was personalizing the song. I was trying to help. Oh. Oh, and I was worried this podcast would not be high energy. Okay. I told you I just need a little nap. Nicole, I'm proud of you. <laughs> For not being no fucking idiot. <laughs> I no think that he's life. saying you have come out of the cocoon or the shell that you were in when he first met you and thought you were more mature. <laughs> he said I, you really came out of that shell of maturity. No, Nicole was just like I'm lucky I'm <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but, but you were going back I was trying to help. I was right there, but it doesn't help. Sorry. You guys are helping. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I know you're going to do it again. Nicole <laughs> was just like, I'm in love with you. Like, it looked you like Nicole would like freaking punch someone, which is crazy why I would have started to want to date you. And I'm sorry, what? It, you were okay remember my spectrum of people people <laughs> sure. who would hit me and people who wouldn't you were kind of on the people okay, who well, would see i was taking that as very literal oh no it kind of just seems like you think everybody would hit somebody but you <laughs> like everybody falls into the would hit somebody and then you're like oh no people hit me with their fists <laughs> and i'm like not only have i never seen that i, I don't hit people well no, and nicole like, also doesn't look like she just walks up like hey no you <laughs> should see punched. her old facebook photos they it was like just it was it was her and i'm taking from this like, nicole drinking. is you have really grown in a lot of different ways <laughs> like you don't have your shit together anymore and you're less mature but you look nicer you look <laughs> you, less you no uh, like longer you look threatening. assault someone even though i'd say you probably look more threatening yeah, but I always that. have this fear of like someone thinking that I'm a racist because I'm bald. Oh, <laughs> I look like one of those Nazis. But I think You're not having before. eyebrows and Don't know I feel like that's worse. Turning heads when you walk. <laughs> <laughs> TC, does Nicole look like a skinhead? 100 no i'm just kidding no <laughs> i wouldn't look at you and be like oh man i know she's a skinhead <laughs> now james 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 nazi <laughs> you got that nazi haircut and the yeah, glasses who, who did that to me do you just get another haircut you know how many haircuts i've gotten since i gave you a haircut like six yeah but i wanted it to grow out so i wouldn't be cold but now i it it makes me look First handsome. First of all, this apartment is 600 degrees. I don't think there's ever a chance of you being cold. When I'm scooting outside. Even in the winter, I would scoot to get groceries. You scoot to get what? Scoot groceries. Scoot? Groceries. What the Do fuck people, is a grocery? People say grocery. People say groceries. No, I hear more people say, I'm going to the grocery. I mean, I never hear people say that. Hey, TC. But... TC, ask him to say ultimate. Can you say ultimate? <laughs> ultimate. <laughs> okay okay i do will say i do will say <laughs> you talk like a slave <laughs> I, I might could say uh, <laughs> oh man uh you will say that i'm fucking immature as shit <laughs> ultimate now i <laughs> altment is is that how i say it what ultimate I say it weird. I know I do. You say it the same way you say minute. That's why it's funny. Altment? Ultimate? Yeah. Gross. Ultiminant. You disgust uh, me. <laughs> minute. Is that better? Yes. Minute is not. Correct. Because it has an N at the end. Correct. Which you have pointed out to right. me. And that's I, just not how you say it. I thank you from yeah. the bottom of you my... say ultimate. ...my prostate. Ooh. Ooh. One of you guys said ooh and one of you went ooh. You absolutely know I said ooh. You absolutely yeah, know. know I said ew. I know. You I was know just TC letting... love prostates. Yeah. Guys, if you have a prostate. I love prostate... milking the prostate. James, Sorry. where is my compliment? 
I oh, told yeah. you. I got the you're an idiot. No, I Man. said <laughs> a caterpillar yeah. who caterpillar is baby. Away. came out Look and you're in your creative endeavors. Me. You you're I flourishing. I was too. The only one oh, you're flourishing now. No, I'm not. Hey, in my eyes, you are. You get people who buy your products. That's insane. Did they too? Is even more. Yeah, but you're Jack and Logos, baby. Love. So that was the worst compliment I've ever gotten. Was pretty bad, James. Is more than just a. Because you went from you're real dumb to now you're creative, heart, but you're still real dumb. You are you are when shouting they, into the mic. Yeah, because I can't you. fucking hear. Oh. Then tell me that. I just keep trying to do these like uh, soft, sweet songs for you guys, it's and I feel like soft, the, like it's you're loud. not receptive to what I'm doing. I need to turn my headphones down, not oh, up. Oh. She can't hear over me singing. Yeah. to you all. Well, it's going to ruin you guys' this anniversary because James paid me $600 to sing for you for three hours. <laughs> well, I'm reciting poetry. <laughs> I just sing what he says. Ooh, that might be good. Well, hey, guys. Do you love spoken word, Nicole? When Ariel does it. That's someone who attends this shithole. Mm -hmm. But it's always like really depressing. It makes me cry. So I love it. Oh, I love depressing spoken word. I love depressing everything. I'm like, it's hard to be black. It is whack. I'm like, ugh, it's my shit. <laughs> is that why you don't want me taking CBD oil? Because I'm depressed that way? Uh, So when it comes to people, though, like, and I've realized this. <laughs> talking to Raphael and I was like man I just love grumpy people and he's like yeah you really do he's like so how does James fit into yeah, that I, I was like I have no fucking clue you just that's why you love Frank so much <laughs> yeah. you and Frank are the same all the time <laughs> except your eating habits I mean no you both get angry when you don't eat yeah. hangry is a thing I don't understand and it makes me so mad <laughs> That you don't understand it or just... That, like, people get hangry. Just eat some food. Yeah, keep a snicky snack on you. Snicky snack. You're not you when you're hungry. I try. Oh, hey, I Frank. made that myself. I came speaking up with that line. Of, but, hey, speaking of uh, spoken word things you like and singing, what makes What if James song... has started complimenting me again? Would you <laughs> no. have been like, what the fuck? i just fucking leave. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> You're right. Just sit here in the corner and cry. <laughs> Nicole, you are a happy person now. That's what I'm saying. I am happy that you That's are happy. Debatable. Oh, my God. You are happier than you were back then. Okay, let me rephrase oh, that's that. That's definitely a fact. I'm so proud of you that you are no longer in Muskegon. Fuck yeah. That you made the decision to move and we moved out here. And I wanted this just to be like a cute, fun thing. And then... You guys took my words and God, I'm going to hate mixing this because one fucking person here wants to sing. Who is it? Who? What's the oh problem? Who? <laughs> Who? Who is it? Who's doing it? <laughs> TC's flexing their muscles right now. <laughs> Who's the person? What, what makes, did Frank do? <laughs> what makes a rap song a bop just to you? going to hit Frank. I want you to lay. give me a bunch of things and I am going to do exactly that. Okay. Can I dance to it? Okay. When I listen to it, is there any part where like either the music or the lyrics or the music and the lyrics are so good that it feels like I am experiencing an out of body experience? Okay. That one might be hard. Okay. So for example, when T-shirt by Migos came out and it would go from like the last verse into the chorus again, I was like, man, I think that this is the closest I'll get to touching the hem of Jesus's garment. All right. Amigo. So song. I'll listen to that song and get inspiration. How fast are the when what's the fast part where I'm like, man, I'll never learn that part. Okay, you want me to have that. Yeah. Okay. And then how many times do they say nigga? Okay. I you I knew <laughs> I should have prefaced this because I knew you were going to say that, but I was like, hey, maybe TC won't. Okay. I am going to make you can that take a song cheetah out of the except spots, that part. But you can't take the spots out of a cheetah. I <laughs> <laughs> Please explain. Oh, I can't. Okay. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome. Godzilla fans are going to be like, oh, a podcast is doing Godzilla. I'm so excited. 
I'm sorry, guys, but you want to know what? Fuck you. Yeah, because you loved it. I thought you were going to say you love dick. I was like, all Godzilla fans like dick? You wish. Mm, yeah. yeah. Okay. I could be into that. Guys, can I go into the movie summary and then we'll get into notes? Yeah. All right. I only have four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, let's get it. Let me say why TC's a trooper and... I'm very glad they watched this movie and were able to joke about almost falling asleep. I would like to stop you. I fell asleep many times. Oh, you did? <laughs> yes, several. Okay. I saved some of them. I quickly looked over after having just stared at you and <laughs> I mean, I st <laughs> look, glimpsed at you and you were not awake. But it was like I could still hear it. It would just start being part of my dreams. <laughs> Nice. I was That'd trying to get a... on a plane, but Godzilla was in the way. Nice. That's a bitch ass dream. I was dream. like, oh, fuck, I'm asleep. And you were I like, mean, TC. That's <laughs> a like, bitch and ass dream. <laughs> so that's a bitch ass dream. <laughs> <laughs> bitch ass and dream. Okay. Dead ass. Dead ass or dat cat. Okay. Franklin, quit jamming on your bell. <laughs> Why did you stop playing that beautiful music? <laughs> I'm guessing this is SpongeBob? Yeah. Okay. I love it when you quote SpongeBob. It's so good. Thank you. I would like to. No one else does it. It makes me so happy. I would like to start re watching SpongeBob, but it's no longer on. Let's do it. Is it on no, Hulu? It's not funny. Never mind. What? Nothing. Okay. I really want to know now, guys. I was going to say, let's do a podcast where one of us loves Spongebob. One of us hates it and the other has never seen it. It would be very hard to find someone who's never seen it. We'd have to find like a 60-year-old dude. My therapist has never seen it. Oh, get him in. Why? So he could leave just like my daddy. <laughs> so okay. he could leave the podcast just like my daddy left me. Damn, y'all. Today we watch Godzilla vs. Destroya, the ending of an era but the beginning of a dirt bug's journey. The year is four millions ago, and a young dirt bug is off to his first year at Cambridge Arts Department. But uh-oh, not only does art degree spell unneeded debt and a wasted four years of air quotes networking, this is pre-Cambridge era, so the college, which you already taken a loan out for doesn't freaking exist so instead of toiling away in a dank dorm not the stanky dank but the danky dank dinky dank what dingy dank is what i meant to say and go out there to make a name for yourself and fuck Art. What has art ever done for you than bring you sadness after seeing inferior contemporaries get more Instagram likes than you? Know the shitty stuff you did in middle school got 80 times more views than the dope shit you put out today. And no matter how hard you try, no one will say, your music saved my life. So wait in silence. Train. Beef up your stats until the time is right. Flash forward to 1995, a post-Cambridge time filled with kaiju and cryptids where even a room full of psychic children couldn't see 9-11 coming. You've read about the laws of physics, but George Bush defies the laws of psychics. psy -i -i. The real reason Psyduck was so neurotic and tense in the beginning of Pokemon Day was actually because they knew about and wanted to prevent 9-11, but no humans could understand. Now, they're borderline suicidal due to the tragedy, and quite frankly, every event that brings mass death and destruction weighing on their already fragile conscience. I am purposely saying conscious as conscience. Where's Franklin at? Also, guys, remember, like, interrupt me. Talk to me while I'm doing this. <laughs> Hey, we did it. Last episode, we well, two episodes ago, I asked Nicole when we got to 30 because I couldn't see the clock to We're go. At 30. La, la, la. Oh. So that's why we just did the, and we didn't want to tell you. But you joined in, which was real weird. <laughs> I'm sorry. You said to interrupt you, and I thought Nicole was interrupting you. And yeah, I was like, it was. yeah, fuck it, I'll oh. do it too. But also doing that bit at the okay. same time. Nicely All done. Right. It was a double Aunt Andre. 
It was a duo grun fox. Ooh, duo grun fox. We love you. Two foxes Mwah. for the price of grun. Ooh, he's going to mm. love that. He's going to make that hit. Do he love news? <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> God. But before Heelys, before he? Beyblades, before daddy got me pre-coming. Aww. But a few years after my unceremonious briss. I know I said that word incorrectly. Yeah, you got it, TC. Godzilla was breaking down harder than either TC, Nicole, or myself when we found out. Oh, oh no, no. Godzilla was breaking down harder than either TC, Nicole, or myself. This is going to be so funny. I know. <laughs> I'm so ready to laugh. <laughs> as soon as he gets it, I'm going to go, wow. Gonna so hilarious. I'm probably going to piss myself when I laugh at this. Go ahead, James. <laughs> it's just for a stupid pun. Oh, man. All of this is getting left in. Uh, <laughs> Okay, Godzilla was breaking down harder than wow, wow. <laughs> Godzilla was breaking down harder than when either TC, Nicole, or myself find out that after a hard day's work, the lucky charms we wanted to eat all day had already been eaten by someone else. That is a real story that happened to me. I cried about it as a 20-year-old. Lucky charms, they're manically depressed. I thought you were going to say sister because we all have a sister. No, but my sister did my sister definitely did that at least once this is what my <laughs> sister used to do i would be making a taco or a sandwich making a taco and i would go to, it's made it's all done i would go to either put the last ingredient back in the fridge that needed to go or to get myself a drink I turn my back, my sister takes a huge bite out of the taco or sandwich, leaves, and then I turn back and there's a huge bite in it. Is your sister Swiper from Door of the Explorer? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I think that uh, the only food I've ever had like a breakdown about when I was 10, I was like a latchkey kid and my sister was in high school, so she didn't get home to like an hour and a half, an hour or an hour and a half after me. Um, and one time there was no food in the fridge. So I was like, I called my mom and she was like, just make some tuna. So I got a can to make the tuna, but I didn't know how to, I never use a can opener before. <laughs> so I didn't know what to do. So at first I was just like trying to use it like scissors and just like clip, <clears throat> clip, clipping. And I just know at one point I was just like, shit, fucking shit. And I was just beating the can with the can opener and like wailing. And I just went upstairs and like cried. And my sister got home and she was like, have you eaten? And I was like, no, I couldn't get the can open. And she was like, you don't know how to work. A can opener? <laughs> oh, no. Now I'm a can opening fool. <laughs> yeah, you give food to your cats in a can. Oh, they have those snap offs. <laughs> have you ever seen Three Minute Meals with uh, Matt TV? No. I think you think those are really funny. I, I did enjoy Mad TV as a kid. Would you say Mad TV or SNL was better? SNL? Really? I would uh, say well, Mad TV. It de I mean, de it depends. I mean, SNL has had bad eras and then. Mad TV was consistently as good as it was always. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Mad TV was consistently good at this level of good it was. Yeah. And I wasn't allowed to watch it. I had to sneak and watch it. Nobody on that show was my age. Yeah. Hey, guys. TC couldn't watch TV shows as a child unless someone was their age in the TV show. It's true. You could watch a whole buttload of anime then. I didn't, though. You should have anime. It's manically depressed. But our old friend Dirtbug has been waiting, grinding for levels like me on Kingdom Hearts, waiting on Destiny Island, leveling up until Riku submits to my dominance like the sniveling cuck he is. I submit to Kairi's dominance like the queen she is, and the game is over. And Dirtbug, like he's going to a big ass and party house, he brought his boys Kyle 1, Kyle 2, Kyle 420, and Kyle 666 to fuck shit up. They grow big after chewing down on some museum fish. That's what the Kyles call vagina art. And turn things into a modern day zombie film. And you better believe that zombie is spelled with no E because the Kyles took that shit like it's Electric Forest Fest, a.k.a. Electric Fr Frost Fest. But there's no E's. They took those too. They're rolling balls. Balls, baby. The Kyles, they know how to do drugs and punch holes in walls. Do you guys know that meme? TC's on their nope. phone. No, I don't. Sorry. Nicole's uh, petting Frank, practically a phone. 
If you could pet Frank as a phone, would you? What? If Frank was like a, an app that you like pet, and as you like ran your fingers down your phone, it would run fingers in his fur. Sure. Yes, Frank, we got to make you an app. And you get to feed him. A Tamagotchi, but Frank. Sure. Cats, my pets, uh, Nintendo DS. Who's the dog? Yo, I'm the dog. Is that from that? That was the dog. Who's what? the dog? Yo, I'm the dog. What is this from? The sh- the game, the dog. Oh, who's the dog? Yo, I'm the dog. What I was? What is this? The game, the dog. <laughs> who's the dog? Yo, I'm the dog. Why do we Am keep I doing stuck this bit? In a loop? <laughs> <laughs> Why do we keep doing this? Okay, so the game has a song called the dog. No, the game is called the dog. Who's the dog? Yo, I'm the dog. Is this all from the documentary? No, it's from the game The Dog. Okay, the okay. Dog? <laughs> <laughs> the call is nothing but peeking. Sowie. Sowie. Peaky okay. blinders. Uh, oh, you guys got to watch that show on Netflix. But no, God, you don't. It's scary. It's terrifying, maybe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's never seen it. Uh, but, I'm sorry. The game was called Dogs with a Z. Wow. Ooh. But who's the dog? Yo, I'm the dog. Go Guys, on. you gotta get it. But Godzilla ain't having that. My boy is straight edge and the RA at their Cambridge dorm. Knock, knock. It's your friendly neighborhood resident assistant here to tell you to get breathed on. Godzilla fights with the power of sobriety on his hand. No strength is stronger than that other than that of Jesus Christ in boxing gloves. And he beats these punk ass Kyles into the dirt where they belong. Oh no, Godzilla mashed them together too finely because they curdled together into a stronger, more drug-fueled rage machine, and this time they have an anus hole on their chest area. Dirtbug Kyle goes after the one thing that is off-limits like an edgy battle rapper who doesn't give a fuck, Godzilla's son. Battle rappers will go after kids and people say, that's off-limits, but if you're edgy... They don't care. That's right. Dirtbug Kyle murders Godzilla's son or nephew or godson or namesake Minnie. The humans are there too and douse asbestos-flavored Slurpee on Godzilla to cool him down cause dude is raging. Also is breaking down new metal Kaliri. Ooh, ah, and we can't have him blowing the planet up, can we? But Godzilla here succeeds to make these chumps bleed and one deed that none screed. Yeah, whoo, baby. He, he's uh, a rapper guys it's fine he's got it uh in the end does it really matter to me no in the end godzilla sprinkled its magical urn dust on top of his young boy and now the boy has become papa car ranger and that's a plot line did, it's, did that fill in all the gaps that you slept through Oh my god, I did not hear anything you said. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Why were you on your phone? Sorry, I thought you were uh doing a monologue. Yeah. Like your that, cold open for SNL. That you this you can battle with, you know? Like rap battling? Yeah. Kids are off limits. Yeah. J- hey Mostly, guys. Mostly though it's like mm-hmm. sickly or dead friends. Kids are only sometimes off limits. Like when Briz Rothstein battled Arsenal, he said, uh, um, first off, fuck you and your daughter. And when she old enough, I'm a fuck your daughter. Oh, that but Arsenal's be awesome. daughter was like four. <laughs> what? Yeah, it was really bad. That's solid battle though. Like Briz definitely three would Arsenal, and I, I mean, you know, again, I I don't condone that line, but it did edge him ahead in the battle as a whole. Oh, was he edging ahead? I don't. I, I actually think that Briz Rostein hates homosexuals, so oh. I don't think he does anything like edging. Oh, is edge probably to like. I men that are like super misogynistic. They're like, I just put my dick in and go till I nut and I leave. Yeah, but you can masturbate, Edge. That's gay to touch your own dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's also um, that if you're masturbating, Edge, the wrestler. There's a wrestler named Edge. The rated R rock star? Yeah. Oh, t- yeah. I forgot TC knows now wrestling. That's the face I'd ride. Yeah, he's sexy as hell. Got a nice chin. And like such a shapely face. That's a perfect box. Yeah. It's a it's perfect ins- box face. It's crazy how he's Very square. not doing more movies. He's a handsome man. Spear! Kurt Spear. Angle. What Very about unattractive. <laughs> unattractive? Yeah. What about John Cena? Uh, really, really like chunky, but like, like he's really like stout. 
What about Vince McMahon? That I mean, I'd have sex with him because he had a lot of money. Nice. But I definitely know he'd refer to me as the N word. <laughs> like, he'd said it in just very literally has already like like not called me the N word, but like how much would he pay me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I ain't got no money. So TC James, what'd you think of the movie? I thought it was pretty boring <laughs> okay like i think even if i had been like i had a really long day today so maybe like i wasn't like in it to win it but i think even if i had been in it and i was trying to win it i was pretty tired still tc ran out of gas on the expressway i did and you want to know what we're fine with that because he got here safely and nicole i'm proud of you for what oh i was just Lucky going back <laughs> <laughs> what what notes did you have though I don't care. You're not my dad. No, uh, you don't care what your dad thinks. Uh, in the beginning, when wow. that uh, one of those things comes, I put, why won't anyone just run away? And then I put, so Godzilla was Chernobyl. And I put, one little dinosaur was going to melt all the whole world. <laughs> 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 and then I put that the other thing looked like a dentine monster because he kept doing the. <sighs> oh, he must have minty fresh breath nothing's colder than ice no it was electrocuting dentine, but it sounded ice, and no, looked dentine. like ice breath do they still make dentine yes yeah oh. oh man i was just about to get on facebook and be like i'm this old and put a, <laughs> dentine. Oh, okay. a container of dentine and people are gonna be you like know what they okay. don't make anymore orange altoids i'm not that old I enjoyed them. I, I loved those and they were delicious. And I recently discovered that they don't make them anymore. And it made me sad. Hey, guys, if you have any uh, orange Altoids laying around, send them to the P.O. Box that doesn't exist. Is it Altoids? I've been saying Altoids for 24 years. Uh, I'm, uh, you James know I can't. also said Cambridge eight times. Yeah, Cambridge. I thought I, you were doing a joke. It's also it, because it's <laughs> the uh, the era it was in... Uh, yeah. Cambridge. What's the? It's it's like a prehistoric. Cambridge. It's a pre. Cam, Cambridge. Uh, nah, it doesn't matter, guys. I don't say things correctly. Yeah, and we're <laughs> gonna mess with you about it for the rest of your days, cause it's the only thing we found that actually bugs you. Uh, uh other things bug me, like saying Ooh, that Greece. I want to. Yeah, well. That is a deal breaker. If you started Ooh, rubbing grease on me. Ooh, gotcha. <laughs> TC never rubbed grease on me. Why would I do that? But Nicole is trying to get you to. Hey. I don't think so. Do you, were you not hearing? Yeah, she went, ooh. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, and looked at you. They do that. And uh, when we were in St. Louis, the blues one, and they were like, blue, blue. But we were at a concert with, that was like packed, and all you hear is, woo. Ooh, and Hosier was like, what? <laughs> he was like, did the blues win? And they were like, blue. And he was like, blue, blue. And I was like, damn, I thought they just like started mass booing him. Yeah. Ugh, such a good performance. Why would they start screaming that during because the blues one? And they were like, blue, blue. But during the middle of the concert? Blue. Yeah. So, fuck those people. I don't know. Like if the Blackhawks started winning, I wouldn't be like, Hawk, yeah. Hawks, Hawks. Oh. Get out of here, people. Blackies. Why are you going to uh, <laughs> Colorado? <laughs> I don't know. It needs a book to flight. Okay. Like we're going to Colorado. Wait, you guys are flying? Yeah. You're afraid of being up in the plane, though. I hate planes. <laughs> what, didn't, um, what's her? I also have another note, and it says, James said the psychic had a crush on Godzilla. I'm going to tell the dolphin story. Oh, so I recently heard this story. We were talking about uh, like the top 10 best, best places for uh, where like black people are thriving in the late 20 teens and where like me, Mac, Rachel and Anissa were going to move. And Anissa was like, oh, I love Miami. Let's go to Miami. And Rachel put a um, uh, she was like, oh, well, is there any danger of and she put a, a, an animal emoji. And I thought it was a dolphin. And I was like, well, they're rapists. And Anissa was like, those are sharks. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. But then my sister was like, well, dolphins will only rape if you lead them on. And I'm not even saying that as like a joke. So apparently if you like give a dolphin like affection too much, it'll be like, oh, well, we're lovers. And then doesn't understand that like you are not lovers with the dolphin. And she was telling this story about how this lady um, <clears throat> was doing this like research type thing where like they were socializing dolphins. And the one lady did an interview like years later where she was like, well, Peter, who was like my dolphin that I was socializing, I started noticing that like he because I was so affectionate with him at a certain point, he would come over and he'd like nudge me for sex. Um, and I'd, I'd shoo him over to the girl dolphins. And then like 
eventually that got to be too much work. So I just give him hand jobs and then like it was <laughs> fine. <laughs> but then the money for the uh, research program or whatever dried up. So they sent him to like an aquarium somewhere far away from her. And he went to the bottom of the uh, pool he was in and just would not breathe until he drowned to death. Holy shit. She's got that good, good hand. Why would she be jagging? Like, I, I, that's what I want to <laughs> understand. Like, that, it was just like such a weird thing to be like, hey, you know, after a certain point, instead of just lightly tapping his body away from me, I just figured wrapping my hand around his giant dolphin penis and jagging him off was <laughs> the easier alternative. <laughs> oh. oh, man. That's the harder thing. It's literally so literally. many more steps than just like pushing him away. Yeah. Being like, come on, Peter. Same say, shush. Come on, Peter. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Guys, if you're a dolphin out there listening, I, I I have nowhere to go with that. Don't fuck dolphins if you're a human listening. You don't come on, guys. Don't wrap your hand around a dolphin. Penis. Gripping and tugging and gripping <laughs> and tugging. Quite literally soaking wet. Soaking, soaking wet. wet. That episode's not out of what the hell mouth, but eventually, guys, you'll you'll understand. Let me see what. Okay, so they she th- had that blowhole breathing and hugging. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, on this, we see them do this 3D scan of a 2D image, and it makes a 3D model. If that existed in our world, everyone who had that would just be any pornographic magazine would be doing 3D scans of it. And then you would have. But also then you could, for some reason, then see their butt because it then became like 3D from a 2D image. Yeah, I'd print out a vagina. But wait, it, you, oh yeah, I guess you could also 3D print it now too. I had to itch my foot. You guys can also yep. talk. Scratch your foot. Nicole, what were some of your notes? You had to oh. scratch your foot. Now I will say, this movie, I had the opportunity to take a great nap. Like that's maybe the best nap <laughs> I've taken in a long time. I put, why is this child the leader? Yeah. Oh, the, the college kid, uh, yeah. which TC said a very good joke when they held up this disc that he had. You said, oh, man, that's his mixtape. Don't even remember that. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> sleep at the very beginning. <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh, because they said it, uh, it was like it was close to his heart. And they kept pointing at their heart, which was very weird. Kind of seemed culty. Guys, join a cult. <laughs> okay. I myself am a Christian. and I mean, you know, hey, shit's banging. Should I be a Christian? I don't think so, because you don't like God. So I think that would like really blow I, that whole thing up. But Jesus seems like a cool guy. Jesus is pretty cool. Yeah. He's got great music. He's like a cool dad. No, he seems more like Jesus a cool is a brother. older. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. You're like cool, liberal, older brother. Sure. And he's like, look, you know, you really fucked up tonight, but I'll go talk to dad for you. Okay? Yeah. That's like Jesus's whole thing. He's like, yeah, you fucked up really bad, but I'll go talk to dad. And then, for some reason, Dad beats the shit out of Jesus for what I did. <laughs> hey, guys. No, you beat the shit out of Jesus for what you did. <laughs> for what I'm going to do. Yeah. Nicole, what, what other notes do you have? Or- Ooh, the little, the little, crab, the little crab guys. Mm. The little sneaky snacks. They We're vegetarians. Me. What? We're vegetarians. Those aren't okay. sneaky snacks. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, my God. Catchphrase. You could probably make like six, seven hundred crab rangoon off them. Ooh. <laughs> that, God, that's one of the things I miss. Oh, crab rangoon is so good. Depending on where you get it. Sometimes it's just cream cheese and onion. We should go down the street. There's this place called Yes Thai. They also make vegetarian crab ragoon. So it's just ragoon. And rangoon. Ragu. <laughs> you make me sick sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> But it's very good. We should I love a good crab go rangoon. Ooh, and a shrimp tempura. Ooh, ooh boy. But Nicole, the, yeah. what about them crabs? Oh, they. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're very like they seem very like mischievous, like like little <laughs> gremlins. And I just want to see one like leaning back and smoking or just like a theater full of them singing along to Snow White. Where are you going? I have to, I'm putting Frank in the bedroom. I thought you a whisper in her ear. Damn, he going to jail. Frank's hungry. Free my man's Frank, man. He don't deserve that. Yep, he's hungry. He doing time time. That's not right. Time out time.
Do you think James is going to be mad as hell when he edits this and realize we did not say a single word when he went to go put Franklin away? Guys, I already knew you weren't talking. <laughs> and I was going to comment. You guys could have been talking. Oh, yeah. Uh, I want a comic that's called Godzi and Goje, and it's about Godzilla and his relationship with his son. That sounds really cute. Right? AKA Nicole, draw it up. Godzi and Goje. No. What if TC wrote it? Oh my gosh. And I could write all of the experiences I wish I could get with my father. Yes. Oh gosh. And then in the last one, he'll ask his son for a kidney and Goje will do it because his dad's been around. Because let me tell you something, dad. If you <laughs> needed a kidney of mine, I'd do it. I just want you to come back. Do you really? Um, I'd like to see him like one last time. Like we're running out of time. I would like to not hit the 10 year anniversary of not seeing my father without okay. seeing my father. But I mean, I checked his Facebook and it looks like he's doing really well. So fuck that dude. 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 <laughs> fuck that dad. Fuck that daddy. What? Yeah, guys. Fuck that daddy up. Nicole, what other notes do you have? Seriously, you're not gonna you have nothing to say about wanting a whole theater full oh, of them yes, watching I, Snow White. I am so sorry because I thought you guys were going to talk about it amongst yourself. That would be fantastic. We just swap out gremlins. Can we do this? Can we swap the gremlins into this movie? There is a winged gremlin in New Batch. But do they this. ever just like form into one big gremlin that can fly? A gremlin. We uh, we could try. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's do it, guys. Draw it up, Nicole. I think like the second form of Destroya is the coolest one. Which one is that? The crab one or the one with like the tentacle, like the crab meat tentacles coming out from its back? That's those. That's literally both of the same things. No, but one. So one is the Resident Evil zombie style that are in the building attacking the people. Yeah, and that's on, the first form. Okay, so then the second form is the one with the tentacles in the back, right? Yes. Okay. No, I was asking you: Is that the second form? Do you guys hear that sound? Yeah, it's an airplane. Oh. It probably won't pick up on, on What if Mike? it just flew through the window? Y'all would be mad. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yes. Before it has like actual wings, but it can fly. Yeah. That version. Yes. All I was doing was asking, is that the one you're talking about? I wasn't sure if that's the one you were talking about. Hey guys, that's the one we're talking about. Oh. Let, let's get that. Let's get that. And oh, I go... Hey guys, and we both say, that's the one we're talking about. Okay, you ready? Hey guys, that's the one we're talking about. I thought you were, I honest... I wasn't ready. Okay. I never said yes. You and ready? You just went for it. You ready? Yeah. Hey guys, and that's, that's the, the one, one we're, we're talking, talking about. about. Why'd you say and? I thought I said that. No. Hey guys. Okay, let's do it again. <laughs> hey guys. Hey. That's... <laughs> Hey guys, that's, that's the, the one, one we're, we're talking, talking about. about. All of this is getting left in Viridian City. Viridian City. You got any more notes, Nicole? They don't evacuate anyone. Yeah, no. they just stay. <laughs> like literally, this is just Chernobyl. <laughs> They're just like, but with much uh, less vomiting. Thank goodness. Yeah, we're gonna s strike force the Godzilla, but like clearly, all of the workers are still there. Like they didn't tell anyone. And some people are just as if I said we're looking at a picnic. On a leaning on a side of a building saying, wow, this is a monster coming at us. It was just Chernobyl. Did you guys watch that? The Diaries? That just came out on HBO. No. Anise no. has been watching it and it's like, oh my God, they won't stop throwing up. <laughs> and one, the first time we watched it, I had what? a nightmare about my grandma. Oh, <laughs> I, didn't no. watch it no more. I was like, can you watch it when I'm out the house? Because I had a bad dream about my grandma. She was like in uh, the Chernobyl uh, place. Tokyo, uh, Japan, Asia. Russia. Russia. I believe. Sorry. You, you, Ukraine, may, I think. I thought it was Russia. Whatever it Germany. is. Germany. not anymore. Uh, I, I don't think it's Germany. I don't think it's Germany. Have you seen the Chernobyl Diaries? No. It was a found footage type movie. No. Scary. It's like they're trying to show that like essentially because of all of like the nuclear waste or what have you. Their insides are melting out, and they're like, the only way we can show this to have them is to have them puke. And I was like, please, no more people puking. <laughs> people were upset with that puking episode we talked on What the Hell Mouth. Were they? Yeah. Oh, you didn't no. see those many comments on Twitter? No. 
Yeah, people were like, oh, yep, uh, thanks for... Yeah, I, I was the one that had to hear it. So. Uh, well, yeah, a lot of them were saying, oh, wow, I did not enjoy this on my way to work today. I had to call off. That's how loud she threw up. I had to call off work because I just <laughs> I didn't get any sleep. We talked about puking for like 20 minutes. Yes. Hey, guys, t- let us know your favorite puke story. Hashtag chucking it. That's not my business. And there, it's chucking. There's no G. But only at James, not MSS. Yeah. So that would be at Marshland Mullum. Let me see some of my starred notes. You ever seen that on Buffy, though? Vomiting? Any of this? There was an episode <laughs> where she vomits, yes. Oh, nice. Does she... Is her... Okay, I also want to say this. You have ruined some of these tokusatsu shows for me by pointing out that... Their face acting is just not there at all. I'm sorry. I'm just used to a specific caliber of face acting. Which is Sarah Michelle Gellar. Sarah Michelle Gellar is the face actor of the generation. It's, oh, it's insane. She doesn't need to say words. In the episode when she throws up, let me tell you something. How does she not have an Oscar? Give her an Oscar. Just and retroactively an, give her an Tony, Oscar. An for Emmy. Cruel Intentions, Scooby Doo's, anything. A Grammy. Oh, she sings? I know. Well, no, give her a Grammy for the Buffy musical episode. Yep. There we go. Give her a goddamn Grammy. It just got reissued on vinyl. They, she's up for the award again. The music episode is so good. I still want to get some of that tattooed on me. Get it. No. Get it. I don't like needles. Uh, Just picture it not being a needle. It just being just uh like a little insect that kind of just just... skip ahead to the musical episode let's just like (laughs) do you know what just fuck the next three seasons no oh my god we're gonna be doing this forever you're also someone who is constantly telling me oh my god this is the episode where it gets good but then we get i wasn't wrong the last time yes the last time you were not but then we get to another episode and you're like, oh, this is this is where we take a dip. Wait, but wait until we get to this episode. I wish that all like the bad episodes, we could just like breeze through them and then be like, oh, it's getting good. Because season three, there aren't many episodes that are good. So it's like, do you want to do this? Maybe season three will take things in half. So one half, unless it's like five of the episodes you find all the filler episodes and we just watch those in one day. No. Why? Because they're, uh, sometimes that like little stuff they'll do or say won't make any sense if you haven't watched oh, the good episodes. It. Who what? cares? I cares. Yeah. Veto that plan. Vetoed, put, put sir. Spit on that plan. Don vetoed. Nicole, what else do you have? We're, we're running high on time. So I don't like the new Godzilla King of the Monsters was fucking awesome and i understand how like some people might not like it because it doesn't have the miniatures it's just like all cgi or whatever but the reason why i think i think i prefer cgi because like with this you could really see it a lot of the times with like it's hard to show falling buildings and stuff with people with miniatures it's like there's the monster like kind of small like way off in the background and then people running super yeah. close to the camera like that's really all you get with that i have never liked cgi until king of the monsters it, it was just done so well have you seen that is that the one with brian cranston no th- this no. is the new one no the one that came out a couple weeks no. ago but you saw the one with brian cranston i did see the one with brian did cranston. you enjoy that uh, now I didn't sleep through it, but I wish I could have. Okay. <laughs> that, it was so long. This new one's a mile a minute. So good. Ugh. <laughs> wow. Mwah, oh, I'm magnifique. sorry. You said it was good. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm not a Godzilla kind of person. Yeah, which I'm totally you gotta fine. you got to be kind of like a person for a Godzilla. You know I- what I love? The Lord. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's halfway there. Did you God. ever have a, a Bible for teens? Yeah. At the way. I did too. I, I don't know if it's that specific one, but it's called the way. It was like a teen Bible, and it was like it looked like a zine done up. It was just no. like an extreme looking Bible, and it was like the scripture. So like First John four seven eight is like beloved, let us love one another for love is of God, and everyone that loves is born of God and knoweth God. And it was like, hey guys, love everybody because if you don't love everybody, then you don't love God, and to love God is to love everybody. Okay, <laughs> like that was how they wrote it. But with this teen Bible I had when I became a teenager, also just religion and like God never, I just kind of thought once you know that Santa Claus isn't real, 
I lumped that in with it. So I was like, well, yeah, then all of this isn't real. For some reason, God, I, I mean, I know the reason someone gifted me a teen Bible and I kept it until I was like 20 years old. And I was like, uh, yeah, I don't, I'm into like devil shit, but throwing away a Bible is just way too blasphemous. And I didn't until maybe I gave it to Goodwill. I was like, yeah, it's fine. I'm not throwing it in the trash. I remember when I was little one time, there's like something in the Bible that's like, you can't take anything out of the Bible or like, just fuck it. You're going to burn in hell. And I was getting out of the backseat of my mom's car and I heard like a, and I had like torn a page out of a Bible and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> 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 okay, You're going to hell. Oh, I had to be like, oh, no, it's saying like, if you were to take something out and change it, like, and I was like, oh, I know what you mean. <laughs> No. And I'm going to hell. He's going to show me on the big screen when we die. Because <laughs> my grandma says judgment day is just you watching your whole life on a big screen in front of everybody. Dang. You would think I'd watch less porn. <laughs> or but, more. Yeah. So God just like, oh my God, turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> I would love to see, uh, like, I, I know this is going to... It would be so I can get more into your headspace to go back in time and see a little TC cry in these just like very just insane moments of like, oh, wow. Why? Why are you crying? Or like, holy shit, this is a really <laughs> fucked up situation. Like the time when your dad told made me you to. Whoop myself. Yes. <laughs> that what came to mind. Because yeah. I was going to be like, would you want to see that time my dad made me whoop myself? <laughs> uh, so, so, listen to what the hell mouth guys. Please, please, please. TC, do you have any more notes? No. Let me see some of my starred ones. It, it's great to go out teabagging, guys. The, the last thing you do, make it a teabagging. That's something TC said. Make sure your butthole's in the front. Just yeah. got the nuts dipping and dragging and dipping, dipping and, and dragging. dragging. Ooh, Godzilla's kind of a dragon. Or is he a dinosaur? Dragon sore. Oh, guys, draw it up, Nicole. So usually we ask like, hey, will you will you continue watching Super Sentai? Oh, but we're not going to ask, will you continue watching Godzilla? <laughs> the the reason for this is to try and get our friends into it as much to say, hey, would you go to this convention that we go to called G Fest, even if it's just one day in July? Oh, uh, when is it? July 5th. 12th through 14th. I won't be able to. I would, but I won't be able to. I'll oh, be, yeah. Yeah. Because you're getting surgery. Is that why? Yeah. Okay. I, you were also always going out of town on the weekends, leaving me behind. Oh, my God. I'm a little salty. This is like you are getting raptured and I'm left behind. Tribulation for us. Just you and Kirk Cameron. I know. Did you see that movie? I know I have seen it, but... I did not. I was not paying attention. It used to scare the shit out of me when I was little because I was like, "Oh my god, I'm gonna get left behind." Yeah. So oh, I, call I was in gonna say now, force. now TC has someone to leave behind instead of being left behind. Ooh. Or we'll get left behind together. I'll be like, "Oh, but at least I listen to gospel. Come on." <laughs> I'll just be like yelling at this guy, like me and him. He's a great friend, but come on. There's also he a gospel. He has an upside song. down cross. He literally covered doesn't in fake believe in blood. You. I believe it I just house. maybe don't subscribe to what you say. I'm sorry. <laughs> what if I got raptured and you didn't? <laughs> I'd be mad as hell. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'd be so fucking mad. I'd be like, oh, come on. Come on. And th the reason why he just points and says, straight edge, bro. I'd grab your <laughs> I would grab your ankle as you were being pulled up. I'd be like, no. No. Hey, you wanna not my I heavenly mansion. <laughs> I would grab your hand and take you with me. Thank you. And once we got to the gates, I'd kick you over. I'd be like, no. oh, only room for one of us. And then they what would if that was what he like? God was like, only one of you can come. Then James would go, oh, <laughs> <laughs> only, if, uh, only one of you can come. Ah, that's good. I mean, yeah, it would be you. If that were. <laughs> he was like, only one of you can achieve orgasm. I'd be like, oh, me. <laughs> Damn it. You can't. Um, not like, you know, no. <laughs> okay. Like, Wait, maybe that, no, that's guaranteed you'll be raptured. I mean, that's what I watch all the porn for. You're still a, a, a. What are you going to say? What, how, what are you going to say? You're still, uh, what's Thin the line. word for a, being a virgin, but not right. saying virgin? Whatever the word is, you guys know at me on that. I personally think I'm a dirty boy. Ooh. And a whore. Nice. <clears throat> <laughs> what you got to plug 
<laughs> uh, follow me on Instagram at Tavia.CW or Transitioning with TC if you want to follow my transition. Follow me on Twitter at Tavia underscore CW. Follow me on Snapchat and Instagram at T. Shalise W. No, follow me on Snapchat and Tumblr at T. Shalise W. Do not follow T. Shalise W on Instagram because I don't know who that is. Maybe that doesn't exist because that used to be my name on Tumblr. I, I found the word for it. A virgin. TC's a virgin, guys. Oh, and TC's a bottom. I have had a lot of sex and I am not a bottom. <laughs> uh, that's a what the hell mouth thing. The, the bottom thing, not the virgin thing. I'm not on every episode claiming that you're a virgin. Uh, but you want people to think you are, namely An- Anissa's parents. I don't want them to think I'm a virgin. I just don't want them to think I've known her in the biblical sense. You're a nerd-ass virgin and a bottom. No. I've but I'm sex proud with of so you. so many people. Been making that thing grip and fought. And yeah. Grip. Hey, Nicole, what you got to plug? Do you hear me? <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> Caterpillar, baby. <laughs> I'll uh, bet you laugh till you cry when you hear that, James. I, I will, probably. <laughs> DarlingHomebody.com. Darling Homebody on Instagram, Tumblr, and Facebook. Go to DarlingHomebody.com to read Homebody comics from 2015. Crumbum comics from recently. Uh, mostly sketch and sentai where we draw our own sentai monsters and then you can buy those designs on redbubble and darlinghomebody.com just to buy cool shit yeah hey guys we want to give an extra special thanks to steve f for donating money to marshland media and i mean i hate to steamroll you on your own podcast but it was like really weird that you didn't want my nudes and like maybe i was a little offended but like hey whatever it's completely fine i'm not gonna think about it all night and maybe die about it go on james hey steve f i guess if you really i but only if you really want no don't let me break your fucking arm (laughs) If you guys want to help us get an air conditioning, we won't make TC do improv with us. Can you please just send Steve F. a picture of noodles? Because those are nudes. I mean, like, they're they're long, but I don't know if I call them noodles. Because they're noodles. They got a little, like, I mean, they got a little drag from, like, sagging, but I don't know that I'd say they're noodles. But they're, no, but nudes. Uh, So I understood (laughs) what she meant. I was saying that, like, I was pretending I thought she was calling my boobs noodles uh, and saying that they were so saggy that they were noodles. That you was don't call we were them doing that? A, no, I call them titties. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to donate to Marshland Media in efforts to get us an AC unit, we need $130. Unit. We have like 55 of that right now. Go to MLMPodslash.com. I mean, MLMPod.com forward slash donate to help us out. And we'll give you a shout out like this. Also, listen to my other podcasts such as This Movie's Gay, What the Hell Mouth, Ew. and Hit It and Crit It. Find all of those either by searching the names wherever you're listening to podcasts or go to MLMPod.com. Also, listen to my rap music, Marsh. TC's laughing really hard. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't going to do it because this isn't my podcast. Oh, what were you laughing about, though? Oh, a meme. I'm sorry. Okay. Marsh. I just wasn't going <laughs> to. Land. <laughs> Monster. <laughs> I just put out a Godzilla CD called King Kaiser X. You can also download that for free on MLMPod.com. I've been James. King Kaiser X. I'll I've slice your neck. And I... Tavia. <laughs> and... We're on the road to, to Virginia City. God, it's, it's never going to work, guys, because I even messed up. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Nice. We both did the dark, the deep. <laughs> you get it. Oh, I can honey, see it in your smile. Home. You're all oh, I've ever wanted. wanted. And my arms are open oh, wide. A, a terrible <laughs> job. <laughs> that part was recording. Okay. Are we ready? To chickity check ourselves before we wreck ourselves? Whoa, please don't wreck me. I'm a young boy. I'm gentle. Really uncomfortable. My 26 year old model girlfriend is out of my league. Same. Do you have Snapchat, James?
No, it was a. But you have article. a pager. Sorry, go on. It was an article. Oh. Or maybe it just showed up on YouTube. Oh no, I'm caught. Oh, I need new pants. I guess my pants are getting caught in the 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 mic stand. Damn, you caught up like an Usher song. Exactly. You don't know that song. I don't. That's a good song. I can see it in your eyes. That's it. That's the Usher song. I can see it in your smile. You're all I never wanted. And moms are open wide. Nicole's got a pretty deep voice. I love you. Yes. I love you. It, Nicole, could you drop the mic just a tiny bit? You said, don't drop these mics. They're expensive. All I need is one mic, one song, one rhyme, yeah. one verse, one line, one time. That's all I know of that song. Was that Nas? Yes, I think. That nasty Nas? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. That Esco? Are we ready? Let's fucking do it. All right. My mouth wet as hell. It's ready. It's time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just going to take it from the top. We'll do it live. Why'd you say it? You can't. We'll do it. You can't it, oxygen <laughs> it. Oh. My name is James. I'm Nicole. And then it's going to be, and we're on the road. We're, yeah, we're on the road to, to Viridian oh City. It's going to be so bad. <laughs> and we're on the road to, to Viridian uh, City. Hold on. We, a- we actually, we have to, if you're going to do that, we still have to start at the same time. Okay. <laughs> and. <laughs> you know I'm going to do it on purpose, though. Well, no, as long as we start at the same time, I'm fine with it. No, I'm going to Are you guys going to sing it at the end, too? <laughs> what? Are you guys going to sing it at the end, too? Uh, we might do mostly speak and say, I don't know. It seems like you want to, so yeah. Sing it really yeah, okay. high. That's fine. Okay. And we're on the road to G Fest, baby. I could have done that. We're on the road oh. to G Fest, baby. Let's all do it then. <laughs> I really only had one of those in me. I'm sorry. <laughs> and do it in post. Oh my! We'll Are you going live. to do it with Fuck me? It. Huh? Are you going to do it with me? Do what? This has been a Marshland Media production produced by James McCullum. For more content, please visit mlmpod.com. To support our network and have access to exclusive podcasts, head over to patreon.com forward slash mlmpod and sign up today.